Hello folks, and welcome back to Let's Play Resident Evil 8 Village. And when last we left off, we ended up fighting, uh, well, some Super Saiyan versions of these damn things. Ended up uh, making a key and completing the little ball puzzle. Now... Progress. You really are a tough one. Yes. But I'm tired of chit chat. Time to die. You can hear it, can't you? Someone's waiting for you. Uh, I love how ominous that is. Take that handgun ammo. Oh, that was a straight up first aid med. Prototype Sturm. Use a cheap turbo prop engine, but he's impossible to control. All he does is charge. Too much power output from the reactor? Completely invincible head on. But the dumbass managed to chop his own damn arms off on the propeller. Also, issues with overheating from running for long periods of time. Conclusion a complete failure. Okay, so, so far, this thing that we've had to fight has been coming at us head on. Seems like we could end up in a bit of a re in a bit of an arena with this thing. And we'll be able to take it down by, uh, either getting behind it or, uh, running it out. Or perhaps maybe I'll just end up in some narrow passageway and get chummed up in the blades. Who knows? I don't have time for this bullshit. Out of my way! How? Fucking how? Oh shit. Oh fuck! <coughs> um, yeah, uh, yeah, this is how you die, Ethan. Okay, let's heal up. That was a that was a rough start. Okay. But why a narrow fucking passageway? Honestly, game. This ain't gonna work. Oh, fuck. Well, God damn this bastard. Okay, 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 okay. God, he's tearing up the place something good. Damn, I missed the opportunity for that one. Oop. Let's move back over this way, get some rifle rounds. Shit. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this with the rifle, actually, to be fair. He's going for it. Come on, sweetness. You're smoking. Oh, shit. Now I'm smoking. Fuck! Oh crap. 
<gasps> Fuck. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. He turned around so fast. Oh, he's over there. They're an absolutely batshit. They seem to have calmed down a little. News close. Oh god. Oh, he's going to free fire again. Ah shit, oh, for God's sake. Sorry, I do have a health point. Okay, yeah, I've got to be careful with running through the flames. Damn it. Right, let's put that on. I'll have to make a fresh one. Okay, let's uh, make two of those. Stay down. Oh. Complex mechanical heart. This room is, uh... Boobah. To say the least. Oh my god. Oh. Uh, that was quite the boss fight. Uh, sim simple in its execution, but elegant in design. Oh, this room is clear. Probably would have been easier if I checked the map first. E. I got a cigar. Miranda is abominable. Her deceit knows no bound. 
We're merely a bunch of failed Cadell experiments to her. I was just lucky I had more affinity to the stuff than the other poor schmucks in the village. So she still calls me her son. What a joke. I'll never forgive her for what she did to me. That crazy bitch has never been right in the head. She can't see a difference between experiment and family. Miranda didn't just change my body, she took my dignity. If I don't kill her, then my life will never be my own. Still, she may be crazy, but she's also powerful. She can turn into anyone using the Mega My Seat. The trick is, that brat Rose. If I could ex access her power, then maybe... Speaking of, the kid's dad, Ethan, has a pretty interesting body himself. Maybe I could get him to help me out. Yes, quite. We have discovered that we are quite durable. Especially after having, um... I don't know why I just pressed F5 then to quick save. It just doesn't work that way in this game, you know? Um, especially having uh, one's hand chopped off and uh, that looks ominous um, and you can actually get one of uh, ah hello you can get one of Ethan's uh, f feet chopped off as well uh, in a uh, if you do things a certain way uh, during the first meeting with um, uh, Jack Baker in the house as well. I'm sure plenty of people knew that bit of information, but you know, for those that didn't, there it is. But, uh, yeah. Ethan being able to reattach his appendages like it's nothing is uh, not normal to say the least. This is such an arena. I've already had one boss. I'm throw another one at me yet, would they? Well, to be fair, he wasn't really a boss. More like a sub boss. Mid. Um. Now what I'm talking about, uh, mini boss. I fucking see you. Yeah, this is too easy. <sighs> well, all right then. Maybe the game isn't going to be a complete asshole. Yes, at, at, at the time of playing this, I still don't have access to the uh, Shadows of Rose DLC yet. I wonder what uh, uh, what it would have been like playing this game in third person mode. Though I do quite like the first person. What the? Oh, that's not good. <laughs> Not bad, not bad, Rogers. You're persistent. But I've got a rebellion. So stay out of my way. Don't come! Oh, that's a problem.
man, we got all the way up there and now we're back down the bottom again. That bastard. Damn it again. Uh, honestly, Ethan, I would be fuming. I'm kind of am fuming. If they make me traverse that whole thing again for the sake of... Oh, that's going to be annoying. I know there's a bit in this game that had quite a bit of controversy to it because it wasn't like the rest. I think my earlier assumption that it was that lichen fight earlier might have been a little incorrect. <clears throat> I think it might be this section. I told you to leave it alone, Ethan. You are in the way. What do you care, Chris? You killed my wife, you son of a bitch! You think I killed Mia? That wasn't her. It was Miranda. What? She's a bioweapon. She changed her appearance and pretended to be Mia. Seems she also survived being shot, so now I'm here to finish the job. Bullshit! Why don't you fucking tell me right away? Because I knew you would want to be involved. And this job is hard enough without civilians getting in the way. Uh. Why us, Chris? What the hell is going on? All right, Ethan. All right. I guess I owe you an explanation. Hand me that wrench. Long story short, Miranda's fucking insane. And this village, all these monsters and freaks, this is her life's work. Some sort of crazy experiment with the mold. The mold. Like Louisiana. God damn it. All this time, I thought I could save my family. I can't escape from here. I can't do anything. That might not be true. Take a look at this. My men sent those pictures a few minutes ago. Miranda. Keep looking. Rose. Holy shit, we gotta go! Relax, my men are monitoring the situation. But they have my daughter. You don't get anything. You don't stand a chance against Miranda by yourself. <laughs> We'll stay down here and finish planting explosives. You take that elevator, I'll meet you topside. I promise you, we will get your daughter back. Together. Damn straight we will. And when I find Miranda, she's a dead woman. All right, Ethan. Then you take this and do me a favor. Try to stay under the radar. Oh my god. Do I get to drive the freaking battle tank? Oh, that is amazing. Tell me. Oh, I'll tell you what. It's actually nice to see some of the, the main or, or the, the OG Resident Evil characters in a... From the opposite side. I, I, I think it's pretty good. Uh, to Hound Wolf Squad. The sweep of the factory is complete. No proof of any connection with the organization. Guess this just wasn't our lucky day. I did manage to get my hands on a number of documents to <clears throat> disclosing some of Miranda's experiments which support our previous theories. She seems to have infected herself with the Mutamice, which has granted her a number of abilities, including mimicry. She can control her cells and transform herself to look like anyone or anything. She discovered disguised herself as Mia and infiltrated the Winters' home. Her objective was clearly to kidnap Rose. Maybe she thought she could control Rose easier if she looked like her mum. 
When we attacked, it put a little damper on her plans. So she mimicked a corpse. She then revived herself in the transport truck, killed everyone on board, and took off with Rose. Things didn't go the way she had originally planned, but in the end, she still got what she wanted. Until now. It's time to rendezvous and blow this place sky high. This might turn into a fight with Heisenberg, but I think I found something useful. He left one of his little toys lying around, and it's even made from a metal polymer composite, which he can't control. Time to turn the tables. Alpha. Yeah, I knew there was some stuff hiding around here somewhere. So tell me I get to use the battle tank in the boss fight and I get to save my ammo. Because I'm probably going to need it to fight Miranda. There is a save point right there, which is absolutely delicious. So let's put that to use. And see what we have in store. Uh, oh, gee. Oh, man. Wouldn't it be funny if you were able to go up there without using the, uh, the, the little tank? This game is making absolutely sure you're certain you want to do this. Metal polymer composite, huh? Time to fight fire with fire. Oh my god, mate, look at this. Coming, Rose. This is whole trigger to ready the cannon, fire cannon. Guard. Oh my god! Uh, ready cannon, fire cannon, machine gun. This is going to be interesting. Infinite ammo, that's what I like to see. You're like a goddamn cockroach! You think you can take me on? Fine. This will be my warm up before I kill them. Let's settle this. Man, a man. Your corpse will be another addition to my army. Not that terrible now. Time to wrap things up. I will blow off your arm. <laughs> so this is the power of Father Yolong. Not bad. Time to test this baby out. Oh, don't give up. Hey. <laughs> don't die like the world's watching. I fucking love this. Oh, 
Yeah, you, you, you ain't coming anywhere near me, so. The clock is ticking. You're dead. I love it. Here we go, Ethan. The final stretch. Well, what do you think? It's hopeless. Right? Just give up. Flesh and blood will never win against me. This isn't David and Goliath. It's Ethan and the bloody demise. <laughs> Alright, this game is giving me explosive rounds. Yeah. Choke on it. Having fun? Always, mate. Please reload. Okay. Oh, oh shit. Oh shit, that one missed. Just you wait. <laughs> what are you up to now? <laughs> you really should have taken my deal. <laughs> You'll be foes in the afterlife. Rose's power is won. Right after I murdered the ram. <laughs> <laughs> This can't be the end for me! I must kill her! Nah, mate. That's my job. Okay, I gotta say, that was fucking epic. <laughs> I dealt with Heisenberg. Now I'm gonna find Miranda and get Rose back. Not without me. It's too dangerous. Wait there, you hear me? Ethan? Rose? Ethan! Ethan, respond! Mia? It's not- A child. She's so important, isn't she? She's everything to me. <laughs> and mine to me. With Heisenberg on, you've lost your lead. What are you going to do? I don't know, but I'm saving Rose. You'd never know, do you? Even when I took Mia's place in your home. Poor Ethan. Who are you? Where's Rose? <laughs> <laughs> Enough. 
Remember Evelyn and her power over them all? Rose is her successor. No. Rose is Evelyn's true, complete form. She will grow to fully control the masses. And I must have her. Fuck you, you crazy bitch! Calm yourself. Rose will be saved. The Mega My Seat catalogs all of us. However, she will be reborn as my daughter. She's my child, not yours. Where are you? Show yourself! Why did Rose come to be? Was it because of her parents? And you are truly a special case. But I've learned all I can from you. Your worth as a lab rat has run out. Miranda! You coward! Come on and face me! Oh. Don't worry. Your death will come quick. You will join the Mega My Seeds records. Um, I will make sure to sample your blood for later. Once dawn breaks, the ceremony will be complete, and I will become her true mother. Bound for eternity in blood. <laughs> oh. I've waited so long. But dreams really can come true. Vessel or not, I can't wait to see my true child. Um, okay. Ethan can't be dead? Or is that it? Nah, mate. <clears throat> dun, dun, dun. I guess we'll have to wait and see what happens in the next installment of Resident Evil 8 Village to find out. Is Ethan really dead? Or how will this game continue without him? Take it easy, folks. Bye-bye.